it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're making candles. <laughs> These candles are from the Dollar Tree, so you can see how big they are. Um, they are about, uh, what is that? Let me look at my mat. About eight inches high and about, um, about two inches across, but not really because most of these, if you can see like this is almost three inches across because technically you can read all the way over here. Um, so anyway, they are so cute. I use the me metallic adhesive vinyl from Cricut. I mean, I love that brushed metal look to begin with. Um, but I did two different designs. Well, I did five, you can see there, but this one is the smallest one in height and I think in width as well. And I feel like this fits it a little bit more. Like this one is a little bit too big for my personal preference, but um, I posted it on Instagram. I had no idea that people would love these so much, which is why I'm actually doing a tutorial on how to create the um, the words, the sayings. So, all right, let's go. The first thing is because I chose a font that is cursive, so I want them to connect. I'm gonna use Font Lab Pad. Okay, so let's search for Font Lab Pad really quickly. I think I might already. I do have it up right here. So the reason why I like this is you can see everything that I typed out. It connects everything for me, right? So I'm gonna show you the difference here. So in text, um, and this font is from Creative Fabrica and it's called City, oops, City Street, oh. Why is it not showing? Oh, there it is, City Streetwear. Um, I love it, it's so, um, it's cursive, but it's not like frilly, but I feel like it's very modern. So anyway, let me type out, um, um, I fucking love you. <laughs> Let's see. And so you can see the difference. Um, all right. So where did it type out? Okay, here it is. It's coming. And so if I'm doing five candles, there's no way that I want to deal with this. And moving over each letter to make sure that they connect right so that's not what we want so instead if you went over here and typed in I'm gonna type in the same thing right here see it's all connected already so you can type out everything you go to file you can either go to recent fonts so you can see all my favorite fonts here or recent projects or you can open an, um, a font that you have on your desktop, okay? Once you type in everything that you want, you're gonna go to this pick list here and you're gonna save as. So that one's all crazy, but that's okay. I'm gonna save it as candles demo. Okay, so now it's on your desktop. Um, what you need to do is you need to upload it into Design Space, right? So I'm going to, let me make this smaller so that we have it here as a reminder to not do this, right? I mean, five candles is gonna take forever. Why is it not moving? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna go to upload and you're gonna upload image, browse, and we're gonna find our file. So it was candles demo, right? So there it is. I'm gonna double click on it. It's gonna pop up here in a second and I'm gonna save. Then I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna insert the image onto my canvas, okay? So it's gonna come over and it's gonna be crazy because it's got a lot of stuff in there. Obviously, it's not gonna look like this. All I want is for the words to come in already connected because now I'm gonna design. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna put, you know, like in this one, I think I'm, I may have changed the D those two words to be bigger than everything else. So we, we still want to be able to, um, at this point, design whatever it is. Um, but I just want every word to be connected, every letter to be connected the way it should be. Okay, so here you have it, right? So I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna ungroup it. So when you ungroup it, each one of these letters, they're hanging out by themselves. So you need to grab them and we need to weld them, okay? 
So uh, there's a lot of words right here. So let's do this first one, right? I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna weld it. So now, instead of, see, when I click on this, this is each individual letter, right? I don't want that. I want them to be welded, and I want them to be, you know, each its own word. So let's do this one first, okay? Um, so I'm going to grab the love you. I'm going to grab love, and I'm going to weld that. I don't want to weld love you together, because I don't want it to be stuck together. I don't know how I'm going to, you know, design it just yet, right? So I just want to connect all my letters all my words separately okay oh did you see how that oh okay so let me um zoom in a little bit more so you can see that so my o filled in when i welded this so i'm going to undo it <clears throat> so there's a couple ways to go around this okay so the first one is a very popular way that i see people do on facebook is the reason why it, it closes up is it's the O is too close to the Y and the U, right? I'm gonna make this bigger so we can really see it. Um, so what you can do is you can move this O, you see how we can move it over a little bit more and then move this U over a little bit more. So while that is an acceptable workaround i don't like it because the designer when they created this font the letters were supposed to be closer so to me i don't like to like i mean in this case it's so small it doesn't really matter that much but like if you were doing let's say a big poster i don't want the word you to be more separated than the word when, for example, okay? Like, I feel like there are gonna be times when when this method isn't going to work. But anyway, so you can weld it. And see, your O doesn't, doesn't close up. But let's undo this. This is more my favorite method, okay? So let me go grab another U, here's a U. So I'm gonna grab this, right? I'm gonna bring it over here. So this is my workaround. Well, not my work, my preferred workaround. Someone else came up with it. I don't know who. <laughs> but you make the word you super, super large, okay? And for some reason, and this isn't even that large. This is only what, uh, five inch, four and a half inches by almost five inches. You make it really large and then you weld it. Okay, so that didn't work. That's still not large enough. So what you can do instead is you can do this. You're gonna grab the word you, okay? You're gonna go to height and just change it to 30, okay? We can't even see it, <clears throat> I don't care. I'm gonna weld it, then I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna go back now and change the height from 30 to let's say five. And hope, oh, that still didn't work. Oh man, okay. So interesting, at 30 inches, it still didn't work. Okay, so it's hard to see, right? So let me, um, let me make this smaller so we can really see this. So here's my word. Um, so I need to undo it, but shoot. I had changed the screen settings, so I don't know if it's going to, okay, there we go. All right, so here's the word you, and let's see if we could see it at this point. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and this is all separated, right? Yep, so here's the Y, the O, and the U. I'm gonna make this, did it grab? It didn't grab. I'm gonna make it 60. If that doesn't work, I don't know. Let's weld it. Okay, so that works. So you make it really big, you weld it, and then you make it back to its size. So now the word you is welded. So again, I prefer this method, even though that was crazy. I don't know, I've never had to change the height to 60 before, that was bananas. But I prefer this because 
there are going to be times when you're going to notice that certain words look a little bit more further apart than other words. And that's why I don't like to have to manually move them um, wider, like further apart. So anyway, that's my little thing. Okay, so let's go back to this. So there's the I love. Okay, so I need love. So let's grab love. And then, okay. And <clears throat> is this already welded? Okay, so this is already welded. So now we have, we're gonna do just one. Um, we're gonna do two, actually. We're gonna do this one with the square because it's different than the others. This is all, you know, up to your preference, how you want um, the words to line up, right? I wanted to, I just knew that I kind of needed to make it about, um, about three inches wide because your our candles are really really slender right so at most i want i want to be under three inches wide and then this way if you make this three inches you know three a little bit under three your height is going to adjust accordingly so i'm not worried about height in this case i'm worried about width so now i did an uppercase i so let's go to text and i'm going to put an uppercase i so let's get that in there. It's coming, okay, here it is. It's coming over. Design space has been so slow for me since the update. Okay, so there's a couple things that you can do. Like, um, I'm not gonna be worried so much about my dimensions right now. I sort of just want to line things up proportionately. So from a de design standpoint, how do I want this to look? So. I don't want, because I'm limited in width, right, to under three inches, I don't really want to have two words on each line. I want one word, one word, one word, one word. So that way I can make it bigger and legible, right? So here, I'm gonna do this. And so I sort of knew that I wanted this I to fit in between these two, um, between the F and the K. So I'm gonna make this I a little bit smaller. Okay, so something like this. Okay, and then here's my, the word love. And love, I want it to fit definitely between the F and the G, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then because the word love is so much shorter than the word fucking, I, you know, I went and found a heart that I felt like fit this font style. Um, but again, it's totally up to you. All right, then I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So this is starting to look like this, right? Um, all right, so here you can start playing with things. Maybe you want the word love to be bigger. Um, you know, we definitely have that option to do that. And then you can make the, I mean, again, this is totally up to you design wise. Um, okay, so let me make that a little bit smaller, something like this, okay? And then you just go into images and um, search for a heart, and hopefully I can find that same heart. But, um, you know, oh, here it is, that was easy. So um, insert the image, and then I also made it a different color. So I went, um, so I did everything gold, and let me see if I can find that one. And I did a dark gray, still metallic. So it's just kind of like a little different, not too different. Okay, so here's my heart. Um, all right, so let's make it a little bit smaller. Now, let's talk about this material. So this is the metallic vinyl from Cricut. And I can't tell you how many times I've used this with a dull blade and I just wanted to smack myself because you can't weed it well. It's so annoying. So just, you know, I also, this is why I like um, to buy my blades on Amazon because I can buy 30 of them for $10 so that when my blade goes yuck, I just take it out and put in a new blade and then it cuts perfectly and I weed like, you know, it's a two second job. 
So <laughs> that's my little, my little blurb there. All right, so this is it. All you need to do at this point is, I'm going to, I'm going to just grab all my words because I don't want to have to line this up later. Um, I'm going to, oops, hit the shift key and grab all these words. It's so slow right now. I'm sorry. And you can attach it. So when you attach it, it's going to cut in and keep everything lined up like that so that when I'm placing it down, I'm just placing it down one thing and then the heart's going to be different because I want the heart a different color. So I'm going to attach it here and there you have it. Okay. So here's the first one. So you're going to do that for all these other ones or whatever sayings that you want. Um, in the in love AF, I didn't like the way the A looked, the capital A in this font. So I went and got a different font. So you can mix up fonts. Um, in this one, I did love way bigger, right? So again, that's totally design wise up to you. All right. So this one's done. Let's do this one because this one's a little bit different with the square. Okay. So let me just delete everything else just so that we can, um, hopefully speed up the canvas like design space right now. Okay. Let me delete these two little guys. Oops. That's not going to work. Let's delete this heart. Let's move this over so that you still have it. All right. Oops, I should move this heart as well. Okay. So here's this one. All right, this one. When lit, I want the D, which is right here. So I'm just gonna grab this, move it over because we still need to weld things, right? All of this, I'm gonna delete because we're not doing all the candles. They're all the same, okay? All right, so let's do one word at a time and weld it so that they move together and we don't have to worry about things. So here is when. And I think that E, the E is always closed up. I could be wrong, but we'll see in a second, okay? So here is lit, weld. On my candle, I didn't notice when I did it, my E is closed, so. And I'm missing a little comma, but I feel like if I add the comma, it's gonna look weird. Um, so that's my excuse. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna weld this. So far, everything's welding. Okay, let's blow up this the and see if my E, no, I see, I think this is the font. Oh no, it does have a little opening, dang it. Okay, so this one I'm gonna make really big. Hopefully when I weld it, my E doesn't close up. Yeah, darn it. So on mine, both E's closed up and I didn't realize it. It's still minimal though. Okay, so, okay, when lit, I want the D. Okay, so everything is here. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so first thing is, let's make this um, the square, okay? So we're going to bring in a shape. We're gonna bring in the square. And it really doesn't matter. I did it this size. I just kept it whatever size it came in. Then I duplicated the square and I made this square smaller. I changed it to three. So it's 3.111 versus three. Then I'm gonna grab both squares and I'm going to align and I wanna center it because I want it perfectly in the middle and then I'm going to slice. So when you slice it, you have that middle, that little square inside. We slice it, we're left with this beautiful outline, this little ring, right? So delete what we don't need. Okay, so here is our thing. Now, we know we want this to be smaller than three inches, right? So we could just change this to like, let's say 2.9. This is what, this is the size of our, of our thing. Let me see how big this is. Um, oh, I must have made this big just for us to see. Okay. So let's start adding our words, okay? Ignore that closed E, because you know how to fix that. So, you know, for now, let me just make this bigger so that we can see everything. Okay, so I wanted the when here. Okay, here's my lit. And I'm 
just gonna click on the square and send it to the back. Because when I send it to the back, then all my words, when I click on it, it will move. So when lit I want and then I wanted to incorporate, you know, kind of have openings of the of the square. So that's why I did it like this. I felt like it really gave it a delicate touch to my raunchy message. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Something like this, right? Um, so I can make my square smaller and then kind of rearrange everything, right? Okay, so let's say you like the way everything looks, right? At this point, what you wanna do is you wanna bring in another square and wherever you have spaces, like um, where you wanna create the space, like up here, then I'm gonna take this square and I can see the word when, right? So I'm gonna unlock this. I'm gonna go all the way so that I can't see the word when anymore. I'm gonna grab this square and then scroll down over here, hit the shift key, grab your open square and slice. So we're keeping everything in place so that we have a visual, but this helps us move everything out. So we're getting rid of all the slice results. So you see how that works. And then um, we can use this same square if we wanted to, but it's just for me, it's just easier. Let's just bring in another square so it's clean. Okay, and this time I'm going to open this up. If you want this to be, I see I did this two different sizes, right? I did this here. This space is smaller than this longer space. So what you wanna do is, again, if you like this right here, or you can unlock it and you can kind of see how big you wanna make this space, right? So now I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna grab, so this is already highlighted. I'm gonna hit the shift key and then grab my open square and slice. You can only slice two things at one time, but even though everything's here, it's okay. My cursor only picked up two, right? I hand selected two items to be sliced out. So that's why it, you can slice things in traffic. I call it in traffic because there's a lot of stuff going on right here. So there's our square, it's opening up, right? Let's bring in the next square. And all of this over here, we'll delete it later when we're done. All right, so here I'm gonna put it next to my T, and actually it's like the perfect size of my T, right? So I'm gonna put it here, and then I'm gonna hit the Shift key, and I'm gonna grab my open square and slice. And then I'm just gonna move it over. I really, I like the look of this, like, thin square and then with the with the open space I really like that a lot okay so let's go oops not images sorry shapes square we're gonna do this last one this last one you can put it here this is the beginning of the T unlock it and move it over to right around there so that's selected hit the shift key grab the open square and slice and just move all our slice results over. Oops. Okay, and there you have it, right? Here, let me move this out of the way for a second. I'm gonna grab all this and move it up a little bit. So on this one, I mean, whether you hit attach or weld, in this case, they both serve the same function for you. So I'm gonna weld it just so that you can see it, okay? All right, now this, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this too. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the Make It screen. So one was weld and one was attach. They're both the same for this project, right? So the words, the saying, the phrase, whatever, they are all together. So when you read this, you can place this all down at one time on a same transfer sheet. 
So you see how that works? And then here's our little heart of a different color. All right, if you wanted to at this point decide, oh, I don't wanna do another sheet of vinyl, you can just click on the three dots, move object, and make everything the same. We're gonna move it to this page, confirm, you can either leave it here or you can actually put it over here where you want it to and then you can cut and weed and transfer all the same way um, obviously this one we did not reshape it like resize it but i really just wanted to show you how to do it all right so i'm going to cancel out of here that's how you do these cute little candles they're a dollar from the dollar tree um they look so cute and at this price i mean you can you can do it for all the different seasons and be really cute about it, right? So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back and buy a ton more candles and always have it for backup. All right, let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys later. Post your comments. If you need me to slow down, answer more questions, just post them here. Um, if you want to send me a special request, you could do that as well. You can post it here and then send me any files or any extra details to Anne, A-N at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys.